welcome back to my channel. We're in a new location today. Also, Anna and I never close the store, so it looks really weird. We're in my office with a cozy cup of hot chocolate. I put some peppermint whipped cream on it, but it's already gone. Yeah, this is good. i in a little bit, but we're going to be talking about all of my winter book recommendations for you guys to read this winter. I should actually probably say this is more like holiday books, holiday books you should read. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into it. I will also say I'm only recommending books that I've read and all the books that I've read usually go back to my home with like my parents. That way it doesn't clutter up my bookshelves here while I'm at college. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna kind of hop into it, put the image right here, and then just chat about why I think you guys should read it. The first book I want to talk about is called Love Light Farms by B.K. Borison. I read this, I think, two years ago. Rated it four stars. I thought this book is really sweet. Um, I did read it a while ago, so I'm gonna do my best to remember what it's about, but I'm pretty sure it's about this girl who buys a Christmas tree farm, and to keep it open, she enters into a social media contest showing like family owned or independently owned small businesses and in her proposal she says she owns it with her husband or her boyfriend something like that and so her and her best friend fake date and um yeah that's kind of what this is about it's very cozy i do know that it's a part of a larger um like standalone series and i haven't read any of the other books but i do remember this being really sweet and really cozy I also remember not really understanding why they didn't just date. Like, they clearly loved each other. So, communication for me is just, like, iffy. I'm like, guys, just date, please. Anyway, moving on, another book that I've read, and this was a while ago, is The Holiday Swap by Maggie Knox. I did rate this four stars. I thought it was sweet. If I'm remembering quite correctly, the twins swap, and then they fall in love, but the other... The, they're like partners think they're the other person and that's like a whole like thing but I am pretty sure one of them is a cook which I thought was kind of fun one of them is a baker and then one is like a reality like cooking tv show host or something like that and so they swap places and like I said they each fall in love with a different guy but then their identities are like misconceived I do remember it being really fun and I thought the idea of a twin swap was kind of fun so I would recommend that one. Okay another book that I read is One Day in December by Josie Silver. This is another book that I rated four stars. Um, my review says you can read this book any any month of the year but it obviously has December in the title but I remember it the two characters they saw each other every December I'm pretty sure every December for several years, for like 10 years or something. Or am I mixing this up with always in December? Hold on. It does say it takes place over 10 years. All I know is that Josie Silver is, she almost, she's a romance author, but she's almost like a literary fiction author where she, she really focuses on like the everyday life, like, and that concept of like just what you experience in your day to day life. And I really appreciate that. But it is, it says two people, 10 chances, one unforgettable love story. So if you want to walk, read that, I would recommend. The book that I read is Wreck the Halls by Tessa Bailey. I'm just going to say this, Tessa Bailey to me is like, she's an insta lovey. She is a very steamy author. And so if you're not into that, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you're looking for a really quick paced, um, just fun romance that is going to make you like giggle and laugh, I would recommend her as an author. And so Wreck the Halls, if I'm remembering correctly, is about two friends who are the son and daughter of a, they used to be like a band of two people that broke up, but those two people are like super famous. They have these kids, they break up, never talk again. Uh, they break up the band, not like they didn't date. They break up the band and then, um, these two kids are like thrust into stardom as like related to these two super famous like singers and she has a mega crush on him and she's just trying to figure it out. Pretty sure her name's Melody and I, I'm pretty sure and so yeah her name is Melody and then what's his name? Beat. So it's kind of punny but it was fun. I rated it three stars. I also just recently read A Winter in New York by Josie Silver. I believe that it came, oh it came out last year actually. I ended up rating it three stars. I thought it was a solid romance. I read it this winter. Did I already say that? Um, it is 
again, she kind of tends to go a little bit more literary fiction-esque a little bit. There's definitely a romance, but you're learning a story about a family and their relationships and you're watching a girl come into herself. And I find that really fun. And yes, I rated it three stars, which honestly, maybe it's more like a three and a half. Um, the miscommunication was a little much for me in this one, but overall I still really enjoyed it and would recommend it. Oh my gosh, now we need to talk about my all-time favorite author for like Christmas-esque books. I think I've read three or four of her books at this point. I've read three of her books. The first book that I read by her was Always in December and this came out in 2021 and I think all of them I've rated four stars, which is Honestly, I feel like they should be five stars looking back on them because they gave me that five star feeling. They're just so, so freaking good. I don't even know how to explain it. Always in December, it's it's tragic. Like, I'm not going to lie. It is tragic. It's a tragic love story, but I recommend it to everyone. Um, it's so beautiful. I'm pretty sure that these two people, they it's kind of like they keep on having just these missed chance. It's almost like... Um, one day in December where it's like they have multiple opportunities but something is always going wrong and then they finally get together and it's such a beautiful tragic ending. I recommend it 100% if you can't tell. Next book that I read by her was One Last Gift which is about a girl who is dealing with the recent passing of her brother and they had a really close relationship and something that he did was send her on scavenger hunts or like these fun little activities for her to do and so before he had passed away he had created this big scavenger hunt and it's her dealing with the grief and like I'm pretty sure he had either a long-term girlfriend or a fiance or he was about to propose or something like that and like just it's so interesting and she comes into the scavenger hunt with her her dead brother's best friend and it's just kind of the unraveling of that relationship and like I said she has more depth to her books and so this is like it's it's actually about grief which I it's like tragic it's tragic and so emotional but the romance and the story overall is just like five star immediately that leads us to our last book that I read by her and I read it last year and I did write this five stars it's called Love Holly and um I am pretty sure that this story, it's also kind of dealing with grief. She's driving with her sister and they end up getting in a car accident and just dealing with the aftermaths of that. She joins this like, this like writing support group and she meets this old lady and it's her relationship with this old like random lady and they just become like best friends and she finds solace in this lady and this lady's grandson is then introduced um, and it's just so sweet. Um, it's just, yeah, I, I recommend it. It's so good. I love the romance too in it. I haven't yet read this because it just came out this year, but I will be reading it this December. And that's called A Winter Wish. I can't necessarily recommend it just because I don't know what it's about. I haven't read it, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be rating it a four or five stars based on my track record with Emily Henry. So if you guys are considering any of these, Emily Stone is by far like my favorite author, I think her and Josie Silver are my top two that I've successively, successfully had like four to five stars on almost all their books. So yeah, anyway, if you take anything out of this video, take that you should read those books. Another really fun one is A Very Merry Bromance by Lissa K. Adams. I rated this one, I'm pretty sure five stars. I think I've rated this entire series five stars. But I'm going to focus on this book because it takes place around the Christmas time. And it's been a while since I've read this book, but I'm pretty sure the girl, I'm pretty sure her name's Gretchen. I'm going to double check. Her name's Gretchen. She's kind of a grump around Christmas. And Colton, a country music star, is um, Colton, the country music star. He's a big fan of Christmas, but he's been struggling with his own music journey. And so the two of them just kind of get together and it's unraveling like their own stories and the thing that I love about this series is the men are groveling like if you want yearning if you want men trying their darnest read this series it hits every single time this is a series that I really want to own physical copies of because I just think the series is so good literally think I recommended or I think I rated all of them five stars this series is interconnected standalone so you don't have to read them um at the same like time i'm pretty sure i read this christmas one first 
I either read this one first or I read it second. So I read it out of order, but I would recommend it. This is another one I read this year. If you guys are looking to get your Goodreads reading goal done by the end of the year, I would 100% recommend the Under the Mistletoe collection. My favorite was definitely the Allie Hazelwood one. I did read it five stars. I thought it was... I thought it was the best out of them, but if you want to get like five quick books towards your reading, reading goal, you should read all of them. But yeah, Allie Hazelwood wrote Cruel Winter with You, and it was about two childhood friends reconnecting. So that's all I'll say on that one. I think I'm going to just do a couple more. So I'll say this is our third to last one. We have another one I read this year, and that is The Christmas Tree Farm by Lori Gilmore. I rated this one four stars. This entire series has been like super popular this fall and winter time. And this one is definitely centered around the holiday time. So I'd absolutely recommend it. Christmas takes place. It's a Christmas tree farm. It's ultimate vibes. Hot chocolate is present. We have a hot like cheery guy and then a girl who owns a Christmas tree farm who's a bit of a grump, but it's amazing absolutely recommend it. I actually recommend another novella. This is our second to last book and that's My December Darling that just came out this year by Lauren Asher. This one is really good. It's a little bit longer of a novella versus the Under the Mistletoe collection um, but it's so good. I honestly wanted a little bit more of Catalina and Luke. thought they were awesome characters. Catalina is a nurse and Luke is a, I think he's a resident. He's a, he's a, a doctor of some sort. And it just talks about their relationship because they met through Catalina's ex-boyfriend and her sister who are now engaged and getting married. Um, and Luke is her ex-boyfriend and also her sister's current fiance's best friend, if that makes sense. Which at first it threw me off, but honestly, I looked past it once I got into the novella. It was so good, so fun. Lauren Asher truly is like, she's such a phenomenal writer and I haven't, I don't think I've un- or I don't think I've had a bad read from her from all the books that I've read so far. So I definitely recommend this one. The author that's coming to mind right now is Ginny Bayless. I've read two books by her, so I'll go ahead and talk about both of them. The first one being The Twelve Dates of Christmas. This one, I mean, it sounds pretty self-explanatory. She goes on 12 dates. She's trying to find a romance, I'm pretty sure, by Christmas. Um, I thought this one was fun. I read it a really, really long time ago. It's not even on my Goodreads as read. So I think I rated it probably three stars from memory. That's what I would say it is. Um, and then the other one that I read a couple years ago was Meet Me Under the Mistletoe. I rated this three stars. I thought it was pretty good. Um, it's about a English bookstore owner, which I was really drawn to, and her romance with, um, I think they used to be friends in high school, but it's kind of where they all go out to this like manor in the English countryside for a wedding, I'm pretty sure. Maybe it's a reunion. No, it's a wedding and it's at a castle and it's like they're all kind of like snobby and then she just seems like not kind of part of that crowd and she finds kind of like a forbidden romance um, with someone that's there. And that's all I'll say. Anyway, guys, that is all of my holiday book recommendations. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this setup. I'm kind of, I don't know. I angled it that way the light on the back wasn't that bad, but there's also like nothing going on <laughs> back here. So I will definitely take your recommendations. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next Book Miss video. Peace and love. Bye, guys. <laughs>